What's up, everybody? Smurr here again. Okay, so as we all know, the Cataclysm pre-event or pre-Cataclysm event, however you want to word it, we all know what I'm talking about, uh, has been hitting Stormwind and Ironforge. And for you Hordies, it's probably Orgrimmar and something else. Since I don't play Horde, I have no clue. Have not done it on the Horde. Um, I do have a Horde character, level 80, just haven't been playing him, but that's another story, so we'll just get on with what this video is all about. Okay, so in the event, for those of you that don't know about it yet, which would be really weird if you play World of Warcraft, um, it happens all the time, there are elementals that spawn throughout the city, and you have to get a raid, and you have to take down all the elementals, which will close the portals. Once you do that, if you do it in the right amount of time, or if you beat the timer, per se, uh, you will have access to two bosses. Um, there'll be four bosses total, but each city has two different bosses. Uh, this, this boss, and in the next clip, is the ones that you get from Stormwind. You have to actually take out Ironforge in order to get the other two. Um, that's what I do believe. I have never done the Ironforge one yet, so I don't know. But for Stormwind, I know that two bosses came up. It was this one, and you'll see in the next clip what the other one is. Uh, the things that drop off, or the items that drop off these bosses, are item level 251, and it is just randomly different things. I haven't checked to see what totally, what all they drop. Um, but in this one, I do get a ring that was an upgrade. Um, now, I'm more into PvP with this character. But when it comes to gear, if I get something that is better, whether it be PvE or PvP, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it. Uh, level Item level 200 is so out of date, and that's what I was wearing, so I wanted to upgrade that. So that was really cool that I was able to get this. Um, I ran this one other time, and the ring dropped again. Didn't get footage of it, of course, because you just saw this footage, no need to get both. Uh, in this one, I did, this is the other boss in Stormwind that you can do. Um, you guys can probably see which uh, instance this actually is, or raid, or whatever. I can't remember the name of it, just because I don't remember. Or if I do remember, I can't pronounce it anyway, so what's the point, right? Anyway, you guys can see it. Um, there was a male item that dropped in here. Uh, one that would have that the stats were good, but uh, being a druid, you know, I can't really use male. So, you know, I just went ahead and greeted on it and didn't win it because somebody needed it or something. I don't know, whatever. But, yeah, so that's what I did. Um, did these two bosses. Another thing I wanted to mention, I did get my, um, I think I mentioned this already, but I'll say it again. I did get my druid and my rogue back to me. So what I'm going to do probably is put the warlock on hold for a little while because I know it's not going to get to 80 before cataclysm. So what I'm going to work on is my shaman. I am going to get him to 80, hopefully before cataclysm. And then when cataclysm comes out, I am going to make a horde, a horde, listen to me, a worgen warrior. But the reason why I have chosen Warrior is because that is one of the classes that I've never gotten to, like, past level 20. Alright, so in these clips, you are watching my Shaman quest in Boreen Tundra. I get from level 71, a little bit past halfway, till level 72. Didn't really do too much on him, just because I had some other stuff I wanted to work on. But in the coming days, you will be seeing videos of my Shaman trying to get to level 80 before Cataclysm comes out. Since I did get him back and he was level 71, I have a little bit more of a chance to get the Shaman to 80 than getting the level 46 Warlock to 80 before Cataclysm. So that's, what I'm, that's my project for right now. And I'll be putting out a lot of different videos, maybe showing some screenshots and some dings and stuff like that on his journey to 80. Um, hopefully I'll be putting some more videos out a little bit quicker um, just because I will be playing him a lot and getting a lot of footage as well as screenshots. I might make a screenshot video, I don't know. I've got the uh, the add-on achievement screenshotter working again, so I will be getting stuff, uh, a lot of screenshots and maybe uh, what I could probably also do is put screenshots in a video I do or something, however I want to work it. Uh, that's what I'm going to do, be adding screenshots and stuff. So yeah, that's uh, it was really cool that I got my Shaman back. Um, this was the original character that started off, um, you know, started the whole World of Warcraft thing for me. 
This was the original, uh, the very first character I ever created. Um, it was Horde at one time, but since I moved to Alliance, I moved him as well. Um, also moved him back to my main server now. So maybe I can get some BOAs or some gold added, to, uh, you know, to help him out. I did send him some gold to get because uh, it was missing the chest and shoulders, because I no longer have those BOAs for this one. Um, they were deleted. Um, yeah, long story. But anyway, so I sent some cash over, got a couple of items that uh, was a little bit of an upgrade, plus gave him some shoulders and a chest. Uh, that way I wouldn't be too naked while I was doing some leveling and maybe going to a battleground or something. Not battleground, sorry, a dungeon. Didn't want people laughing at me. But uh, yeah, so uh, this is the, um, oh, I don't remember the name of this quest. It was, uh, it was pretty epic back in the day. Usually you needed like three players for this one. Um, I actually soloed it. It was a little bit difficult, but I was able to actually solo this one. Uh, at the end of this clip, I know it's going to be sped up, but you will see my uh, Shaman Ding 72. Um, but yeah, so that is my plan up until Cataclysm, working on this Shaman, getting him to 80. The Warlock will be on hold. So you will. I'm not going to give up on the Warlock because it is level 46, and I want to get the Warlock to level 80. But uh, now that I've got my Shaman back, I really want to get him to level 80 before Cataclysm. So that is what I will be working on until cataclysm so yeah and then like i said just a little bit ago um when i do my 24 hour live stream which i still have planned to do don't know exactly what day yet but it is coming up soon it will be a 24 hour live stream i will be creating the worgen and it will be a warrior and i will do 24 hours of the worgen on my live stream see how far i can get them in 24 hours i guess um i of course, I mean, there's my ding right here. I'll turn in the quest. Boom, right there. Um, I guess that's about it. So uh, I guess I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Uh, it will probably be some shamination. Um, no, that's not his name. It's just my, my silliness right now. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I'll talk to you all in the next video. Follow Gamerspawn on Twitter, and don't forget to visit our Facebook page.